Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator drive cup. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new drive cup. The drive cup goes in the back of the ice bucket and it covers up the end of the auger so the motor can engage it and drive it. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged and the auger is not dispensing your ice. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the freezer door. Now that we have the door open, we can pull out the ice container. The drive cup is located on the back of that. All you have to do is lift it up and pull it out. Now that we have the ice bin out of the freezer, we can put it on its side so we can remove the four screws. There's two on each side. Now we can turn it over and do the two on the other side. Now that we have the screws out, we can remove the shield and set it aside. Now we can use our Phillips screwdriver and remove the screw that holds in the bracket for the actuator arm right here. Now that we have the screw out of the way, we can lift this bracket up a little bit to get it off its little mount. Once you have it off the little mount, we can take off this plastic deflector on the inside so we can remove this arm right here. All you have to do is pull it towards you a little bit and just set it down. We're not going to take it totally out, we just have to disconnect it from this piece. Now that we have the arm out of the way, we can turn the ice bin assembly over and we have to remove this head section. There's a couple locking tabs on each side. So we're going to release one tab at a time. We're going to lay it up on its side and we're going to stick a small screwdriver right above the locking tab to flex this plastic so it releases it. Once you have it so it moves up a little bit, then you can release it and it'll stay in the unlocked position. Then we can turn it over and do the other side. Once you have them both up and released a little bit, you can set it back down and then you can lift up on these ears right here and push the whole assembly out. The drive cup is located at the end of the auger. All you have to do to remove it is pull it out. Here's the old drive cup next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new drive cup on, all you have to do is place it on the end of the auger so it's flat, and then we can put the whole assembly back into the bucket. Once you have it lined up, all you have to do is press it down in place so it locks in. Now we can flip the ice bucket over and put the actuator arm back on. First we want to make sure this bracket is back up in between these two little locking tabs. Then we can open up this deflector again and put the arm through it and then put the screw in to hold it in place. If your spring fell off or is not working properly, you have to make sure that this thing is under tension. So what you have to do is turn it so this side 
goes up to the top. And then you have to wrap this other end around the arm one more time. This will allow it to open and close the flapper like it's supposed to. Now we can put the shield back on. We're going to go ahead and set it down and then lift it up onto its side and line it up so we can put the screws in. Now we can turn it over and put the ones in on the other side. With the ice bin completely assembled, we can put it back inside their freezer. To put the ice bin back in the freezer, all you have to do is line it up with the slides and push it back into place. Now that we have the part installed, we can close the freezer door, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.